वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज सेशन थ्री फॉर द चैप्टर कंबशन एंड फ्लेम इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ कंबशन एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए कैंडल फ्लेम different combustible substances burn in different ways on this basis combustion can be grouped into four categories rapid combustion spontaneous combustion complete combustion and incomplete combustion rapid combustion it is a type of combustion in which a large amount of heat and light energy are produced in a short time Rapid combustion requires external heat energy to occur. It also includes explosion where release of heat and light energy is accompanied with loud sound. Some examples of rapid combustion are burning of crackers, burning of cooking gas in a gas stove to give heat and light. burning of kerosene oil in kerosene stove spontaneous combustion it is a type of combustion that occurs spontaneously without requiring any external energy for combustion to start it occurs when a substance with low ignition temperature gets heated and the temperature rises above its ignition temperature then in the presence of sufficient oxygen spontaneous combustion occurs some examples of spontaneous combustion include burning of white phosphorus on its own at room temperature spontaneous combustion of coal dust in coal mines and forest fire complete combustion complete combustion is also known as clean combustion it occurs in an unlimited supply of oxygen and results in the complete burning of hydrocarbons this leaves only water and carbon dioxide as byproducts along with the release of large amount of heat due to complete combustion fuel burns with a blue flame having high temperature examples of complete combustion include burning of cng burning of a candle and burning of glucose in the presence of sufficient oxygen in our body cells incomplete combustion incomplete combustion takes place when oxygen supply is limited due to lack of oxygen the fuel does not burn completely and produces a yellow flame having low temperature incomplete combustion produces harmful gases like carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide smoke and black residue called soot examples of incomplete combustion include burning of paper burning of wood and burning of coal now let us study about flame flame is the visible and gaseous part of the fire it is the light energy released due to the combustion of fuel that we see as flame certain substances burn with a flame while others burn without a flame substances that vaporize during burning produce flames lpg camphor candle magnesium and kerosene are examples of certain substances that produce flame on burning have you ever thought how a candle flame is formed when we ignite the wick of a candle wax melts due to the heat and then produces wax vapor the wax vapor rises higher and catches fire and is visible as the flame If you observe carefully you will find that a candle flame has three different zones 
in a dark zone middle luminous zone and outer non luminous zone inner dark zone it is the innermost zone which is dark black in color and consists of unburnt wax vapors it is least hot zone with a temperature of about 800 degree celsius to 1000 degree celsius middle luminous zone it is the middle zone where flame is yellow in color here partial combustion of wax paper occurs because of limited amount of oxygen it is moderately hot with a temperature of about 1200 degree celsius outer non luminous zone here the flame is blue in color wax paper burn completely in this region because of sufficient supply of oxygen it is the hottest zone of the candle flame with a temperature of about 1400 degree celsius that was all for today's class thank you